Jamar. We're from PumpRepairSupply.com. All right, I'm here with my boy Jenna. What's up, man? Once again. All right, so the first thing you want to do, go ahead and tell me. You're going to you're gonna subscribe. You're going to look at that box down there. You're going to click it. Yeah, that will that's telling you to do it, just do it so you can get all our videos. That's every right. Day. Subscribe to our videos right now. Please take your mouse pointer and hit the subscribe button. Come on. That will, uh, yeah, he's like, come on, please. He messed me up, man. But hey, I'm going to keep it rolling, film rolling. All right, so make sure you just hit that subscribe button. That will get that will YouTube to send you a little email once a week and let you know what's new from us so you can keep all the money saving tips. All right, today's video, we're going to be removing the back governor on the Hayward Super Pump. Okay. Now, if you need this governor, we have them in stock at pumprepairsupply.com. Jenna's probably always wondering, like, yo, how come every time I do the video, you're punching me in the arm? I don't know either. I have somebody told me that once I had, uh, like, pound syndrome. Yeah, like, twitch. Yeah, yeah hey, twitch. Hey, like, hey, 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 what's up? Hey, hey, All right, so let me use those hands to take apart this pump instead yeah. of punching Jenna before he gets black and loose. Yeah. All right. So first thing you want to do is I use like a little pair of channel locks. This we call these the mini channel locks or mini pump pliers. The little small ones. If you don't have them, you can try to get something that's similar or comparable. Okay. What you want to do is you want to slide off the spring here on each side of the thing, or just like that. See? I just pulled the spring off of that one side, just like that. And then you want to unhook the other side of the spring, just like this. Okay? This wire is in the way, so I can't get it. And the lights are in my eyes. All right. So once you do, hold on a second. There you go. That's one spring, just like that. Okay, and then on the other side of the switch here, okay, we have the other side of the spring. Let me get my channel locks just like this, and I'm just going to pull this spring off just like this. Okay, there it goes. Now, that one just popped out, so this will probably happen to you at home. Yeah. You will have to find it. I think it's shot somewhere inside the electronics, but we'll find that later on. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully we'll right. find that later on. But now you know how to get the springs off. The next thing you want to do is you want to get this little piece out of there. I like to use my channel locks and just wedge it out just like that. Bam, get that part of the governor out. Next thing you want to do, okay, is take a 12, number 12 wrench, 12 millimeter, and you want to get on the shaft. You'll have to turn the impeller a little to get it stuck right on the shaft like that, okay? And you want to take a flat head screwdriver, and you want to remove the center screw. All right, now, this center screw is a little tight. You saw my struggle. Just take your uh, flat head and just turn the center screw until you remove it just like that, okay? Once you loosen your center screw all the way, you will be able to fully remove your governor. Okay, so you have this one part of the governor there, just like that. You have your second part that we removed before. Uh, and we have the springs. Here's one spring here. Okay, and my other spring is somewhere inside my motor. So, I don't know where that. We'll find that eventually, you know what I mean? Here's the ground screw that's stuck in here that Robert left in here before we did the video. Um, that's weird, that's actually stuck in here. I'm serious, like a little treasure. Yeah, 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 check it out. Ground screw. All right. So there you go. All right, so this is Joe Tamargo from PumpRepairSupply.com. That's sure. how you remove the governor. All right, so if you need a new motor governor, make sure you go to PumpRepairSupply.com. Make sure you subscribe to the videos. Yeah. Hayward Super Pump Governor Removal and Change. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the videos. Peace.